If you've ever wanted a luxurious home on the water, you're in the right place. Check out these 10 extravagant houseboats with the feel of waterfront living without the high cost of waterfront land. Number 10. To label Alipi the Venice of the East might appear a cliché of travelogue riders, but this little town is certainly the Venice of India. Nowhere else will you find the crisscrossing network of canals on which thatched country boats float along leisurely with the proximity of lakes adding to the Venetian ambiance. They offer several boats in different classes ranging from one to three bedrooms for anywhere from $107 for a single night to $430 for a multi-night cruise. The not-to-be-missed spectacle in Alipi is the Nauru Trophy Boat Race, which began in 1952. It's now a major event held on the second Saturday of every August. It has grown into Alipi's single most important tourist event, and these elegant boats offer some of the best seats. Number 9. Butts Claremont houseboats are moored on the shores of Dahl Lake. They offer six boats ranging from one to three bedrooms with all the amenities of a traditional hotel in an exotic setting. With the front veranda facing the Himalayan mountains and the lotus flowers covering the lake, it's hard to beat the atmosphere of this lakeside retreat. Just steps from these boats is an old Mughal garden called the Garden of the Morning Breeze, which is believed to have been built by the Emperor Akbar. Enjoy the flowers along with the famous Chinar trees, which are more than 400 years old. Number 8. Designed by Rose Nadira Architects on the Eelbeck Canal in Hamburg, the idea was to design a houseboat that has the character of a boat with the comfort of a traditional home. Traumfanger does this in a unique way. A single wall spirals from the outside to the inside with the open kitchen, dining area, and light-drenched living room on the outside and the cozy bedroom and private bathroom on the inside. The materials chosen are influenced by naval architecture as well as normal building construction. The houseboat can be moved from one mooring to the next with the help of a tugboat. Number 7. The Santa Lucia is a wooden houseboat situated in the backwaters of Goa. This floating hotel of sorts has three bedrooms with individual bathrooms and modern amenities. The two patios on the upper deck and lobby allow you to enjoy the views and privacy. The lobby also becomes the dining area where you can enjoy the food prepared by the staff. You can take an afternoon or evening cruise with up to 10 people that includes lunch or dinner and enjoy a range of activities from line fishing to bird watching to swimming. They also offer an overnight cruise where you can catch your own fish for dinner. You might even get lucky and spot a dolphin or a crocodile. Number 6. This houseboat was built by Bonnie and her boat builder friend Dennis. The boat is built on five pontoons that are designed to provide flotation while still taking on some water to keep it weighed down for stability. It's fully insulated and has a wood-burning fireplace to provide heat in the winter. They installed a deep cycle marine battery that provides 12 volt power for the lights, bilge pump, and navigation lights. For refrigeration, they use a cooler with ice. The main floor has a kitchen with a sink for doing dishes and a butane stove, a waterless composting toilet, dining room, and living room. Upstairs, there's a loft with a grill floor that allows heat to rise. For the best view imaginable, the loft leads to a rooftop patio with gorgeous views across the Gatineau River. Number 5. For more than 25 years, the Lil Hobo has been one of Catamaran Cruiser's most popular models. Famous for its two-for-one functionality, it trailers as an RV to your favorite campsite and cruises to a secluded cove for your next houseboat adventure. Unlike the other trailerable boats on this list, the Lil Hobo does not have an integrated trailer. The dining table and couch fold down to beds to sleep four. The bathroom has a handheld shower and an incinerator toilet. 
The galley has a propane stove next to a small sink. A small microwave hangs above the range and a refrigerator is tucked between the sink and bathroom. The integrated slide from the upper sun deck and fold down ladder from the rear deck allow for all types of fun on the water. Number four. This modern water via by Plus 31 Architects is designed to maximize the relationship between the living area and the water, characterized by a glass facade made up of sliding doors that offer an unobstructed view of the Amstel. A floating terrace is moored along the length of the via, with the floor extended out from the inside to make the living area feel larger. There are three sunscreens integrated into the roof that extend over the terrace with the push of a button to provide shade on sunny days. A floating staircase leads to the basement where the bedrooms and bathroom are located. A window placed next to the staircase allows light to flow into the basement. To give depth on the pier side, there is a pattern of holes in the facade. The negative space in this pattern creates the house number which is illuminated at night by a large LED panel. Number three, designed by Harbor Cottage Houseboats in Somerset, Kentucky, this tiny houseboat is just over 400 square feet, but packs in a lot of full-sized amenities. The kitchen is fitted with an island and necessary household amenities. The master bedroom fits a king-size bed and guests can make themselves at home in the lower stateroom. The bathroom makes owners feel like they're living large in a small space with a bathtub and full-sized vanity. With two porches and a 400 square foot roof deck, this tiny houseboat has enough space for all your summer entertaining needs. The low prices of these small houseboats make living or vacationing in places like Seattle or the Florida Keys much more attainable. Number two. Designed by Biter Architect and Park Arc provides an intimate atmosphere along with the experience of living on the water and views of the park. A skylight offers a view of the treetops and the roof terrace provides views of the park. On either side are the living and dining room, accessible from the open hall, which is raised one step to give extra ceiling height. The facade consists of multiple materials giving a unique appearance. The copper sheets at the bottom nearly touch the water, making the boat's reflection appear to be an extension of the facade. The external staircase connecting to the roof terrace continues the design pattern of the interior, creating the atmosphere of an outdoor room. While not visible from the outside, the houseboat has drain pipes at every corner for more even weight distribution. This carefully balanced design adds aesthetic value in this public place. Number 1. The Sealander, distributed by German company Sealander, is a small amphibious camper. The hull is formed from reinforced fiberglass made to withstand the elements while the chassis features full zinc galvanization for corrosion resistance. It weighs about 1100 pounds, allowing even a small SUV to pull it to your favorite camping spot. The interior features full configurability and it's made from a molded plastic allowing for easy cleanup. It goes from a dinette focused layout to comfortable sleeping quarters in minutes. Sealander's design supplies an acrylic glass hatch and panoramic side panels, stainless steel hardware with corrosion resistant finishes, and a convertible fiberglass reinforced polyester roof that zips into place. In boat mode, an electric motor propels the Sealander through the water and a foldable swim ladder makes it a great base for swimming expeditions. Hey guys, this is Amber. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can help out by hitting the like button and also sharing with your friends. Have you hit that subscribe button yet? If not, make sure you do so. And while you are there, go ahead and hit the bell notification so you can be the first to see all of the latest videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.